YTBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. Got to give a shout out to a special lady, special channel, the female boxing fan number one. She asked me to do a breakdown of Manny Pacquiao versus Terrence Crawford, okay? You know, what would a potential fight be like? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drop this video. We're going to do it now. Okay, so there are a lot of people in the YTBC, and they are under the impression that Terrence Crawford is going to run right through Manny Pacquiao. They point blank said it. They done went in. Yeah, I don't hear people even say that Terrence Crawford is going to easily school Manny Pacquiao. School Manny Pacquiao. Now, I find this, in my opinion, I find it hard to believe, okay? Manny Pacquiao is a Hall of Famer. Now, people are forgetting that Manny Pacquiao has ring experience. Whether, you know, we can talk about the man tells lies. Yes, Reverend Pacquiao tells lies. He cheated on his wife. He did all this bad stuff, lied about his shoulder. Yeah, we know this, people. But that's not him as a fighter. We're going to talk about Manny Pacquiao the fighter, okay? Terrence Crawford is not going to run through Manny Pacquiao, y'all. And Terrence Crawford, they seem to think that he is the heir apparent of Floyd Mayweather. Like, he's a version of Floyd Mayweather that throws punches. That's what people think about Terrence Crawford. And people, let me go ahead and just really, you know, break the news y'all. Floyd Mayweather and Terrence, and Terrence Crawford, they're not the same fighter. They are complete opposites in the ring. And you can't look at a Terrence Crawford fight and compare it to a Mayweather fight. They do different things in the ring. The way they hold their high guard is different. The way they pivot out of situations is different. They pivot completely different. The way that both of these two guys establish lead foot dominance, that's different. The way that these guys switch to southpaw, that's different. The way that they uh, deliver a jab, that's different. I mean, guys, I can go on and on about what's different about these two men. I can go on and on, but I don't have time for that. You see, Terrence Crawford, I noticed something in two of his fights. I noticed it well, in three, really, that he not comfortable on the inside. And I can get it. I get it. Now, I'm not saying Terrence Crawford won't crack you on the inside. He'll do it, but he'll step back out of range a little bit to get that distance. He'll try to separ get separation to get distance. But he uncomfortable on the inside. And I noticed that in the Gamboa fight, and I noticed that in the Dar in the Darajan fight. Even though Crawford completely just beat the hell out of Darajan, okay? But I noticed that he's not comfortable on the inside. Hell, yeah, Floyd Mayweather, he comfortable on the inside. He real comfortable. I'm just being honest. Floyd Mayweather is comfortable on the inside. He'll sit on the ropes and fight on the inside with a fighter. He did it against Canelo. He did it against Marcos Maidana. So we can't say he, he'll run and all this stuff when clearly we know that Floyd Mayweather will fight on the inside and fight off the ropes. He does it all the time. Okay? So enough with you guys. Terrence Crawford not going to really particularly want to stay on the ropes and fight. He ain't going to fight on the inside. It's just not going to happen. Okay? They're complete opposites in the ring. He, Terrence Crawford is not Floyd Mayweather, and Floyd Mayweather is not Terrence Crawford. Okay? So we got to get that thought out of people here because... You know, him saying that he's going to run through a Hall of Famer because Floyd Mayweather just made it look easy? People, <laughs> it, it, it's blasphemous. And it's not even it's not even thinking boxing. See, Pacquiao, Pacquiao, in my opinion, you know, it's going to be a tough fight. I say it's a 50-50 fight, but I'm really edging more toward Pacquiao actually winning the fight. Here's why. Okay, I looked at him fight Yuri Oka's Gamboa. I looked at him fight Derry John. I looked at Terrence. I looked at I looked at Terrence Crawford fight a couple other people, and I noticed something, and I noticed something, but it really was evident in the Gamboa fight. Now he's gotten a lot better since the Gamboa fight, but people, Terrence Crawford is a sucker for that right hand. I mean, Derry Jean was catching him all night long before he got knocked out. He was catching him with that right hand. It's something about a counter right hand and an overhand right that Terrence Crawford cannot. He just can't see it coming. He can't see it coming. Even when he switched to southpaw, he couldn't see it coming. See, against Yuri Oka's Gamboa, Terrence Crawford, he pretty much had to go to southpaw because the orthodox defensive stand, it just wasn't working, man. He couldn't get his punches off, and he couldn't see the punches coming. So he had to switch to southpaw because Yuri Oka's Gamboa kept catching Terrence Crawford, man, over and over and over with that overhand right. He kept catching him, man, and Terrence Crawford didn't really make an adjustment to it. Now, he made an adjustment and went to Southpaw, but I'm going to be honest with y'all. I still don't feel like Terrence Crawford made a big enough adjustment. I felt like Yuri Oka's Gamboa. I think Yuri Oka's Gamboa changed his game style. Because Gamboa could have won the fight, actually, if he'd have kept doing what he was doing the first few rounds. See, Yuri Oka's Gamboa tried to get into a slugfest with Terrence Crawford, a heavy-handed hitter, which, that was stupid. And Gamboa is a dumb fighter. He real stupid. All he had to do was keep the same game plan. 
hit him with that overhand right, catch him with a body shot, get back out. He was doing that all night. That's all he had to do. He had won the fight by unanimous, a unanimous decision. Now, I'm not saying he was going to knock Terrence Crawford out. I ain't, I ain't, we ain't talking like that. But what I am saying is he could have won the fight. <laughs> Gamboa, really, the fight was almost even, man, before Gamboa got knocked out. it was. Pro- I thought I had it even. Okay, Crawford was starting to take over in rounds, but I had it even. Now, Derrijan, no, it wasn't even. It wasn't even close, okay? But Derrijan was catching him with the counter right hand. And I started thinking about this. Okay, let me really investigate even further, okay? But I'm going to talk about what I found out late in the video. Okay, now let's talk about, like, Pacquiao. Let's just talk about him. Pacquiao is going to show no respect for Terrence Crawford. See, what's going to happen is, see, people, Floyd Mayweather took Pacquiao's main weapon. His weapon is volume punching. If Pacquiao can't throw an abundance of punches, y'all, he can't win the fight. Pacquiao, only, only he's only successful when he's volume punching. Floyd took that away. You see, what when Floyd, you make a volume punch and miss a lot of punches, they're reluctant to throw punches. They, they won't do it. And then, two, Floyd kept him honest. Not mostly with his counter right hand, but he was countering uh, Manny Pacquiao with the counter left hand. Floyd switched it up on Manny Pacquiao. The lead right hand, to me, wasn't working for Floyd. It wasn't working because Pacquiao kept catching him. Every time Floyd tried to throw that counter right hand, Pacquiao kept catching him with a left. So what did Floyd do? Floyd started doing counter left hands. <laughs> and so Pacquiao was confused, man, overly confused in that fight. He's not going to come in there confused. He, I mean, I'm saying he's going to get in there, and he's going to try to he gonna volume punch. He's going to volume punch the hell out of Terrence Crawford. And they're going to have to take a game plan. They, they, he going he gonna to try that. He ain't going to have no respect for Terrence Crawford because he's going to look at Terrence Crawford as not even a seasoned veteran. That's what he's going to do. Now, here's, in my opinion, okay, in my opinion, I think the trainer is going to end up hurting Terrence Crawford. His trainer, his trainer is going to hurt him. You know, I didn't even know when I really looked at this, his trainer, Esau Diegas, this dude was 1-6 and six as a fighter. Now, I'm not saying that bad fighters can't be trainers, but boy, I got to thinking about Ruben Guerrero. I got to thinking about Ruben Guerrero when they showed his record on screen. One and six as a fighter. I don't know. I don't know how many times he was knocked out. I just know that I'm not really feeling Terrence Crawford's trainer. I'm not feeling him, okay? I just don't. His whole team, that, that training team, I don't feel him, man. And I'm going to be honest with you. This dude has not worked on Terrence Crawford trying to avoid that right hand. That stuff you got to work on in, pra- in practice, man. You got to perfect that. I, I, I'm not feeling this trainer, okay? I, I just don't feel this trainer, man. I, I don't think that trainer good for him, man. I think Terrence Crawford need to, you know, get him another trainer, really. Even though he's doing well with the trainer he has, I, I don't know, man. I just don't think that this guy is doing enough for Terrence Crawford. That's my opinion, okay? And I think that's going to come back to hurt him in a, in a fight against Pacquiao. Because you know Freddie Roach going to exploit that. He's going to exploit that. He gonna have Manny Pacquiao giving Terrence Crawford, uh, Crawford a lot of right hands. I'm telling you, that's what Freddie Roach gonna do. He is going to exploit that, and I'm telling y'all, it's gonna be a bit much for Terrence Crawford in the beginning of the round. And Pacquiao gonna have to keep it up. Okay, this is what the both of the fighters are gonna have to do. Let's start with Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is going to have to early discourage Manny Pacquiao. He got to do it early. He can't wait three and four rounds because against Pacquiao, that's dangerous. Really and truly against Manny Pacquiao, that's dangerous, man. You can't wait three to four rounds to try to figure him out, man, and then try to start your attack. You can't do it. Because Pacquiao, Pacquiao will mess up, man, and steal rounds from you. He throws so many punches, man, he can mess up and steal a few rounds. Terrence Crawford got to be on his P's and Q's, and he's got to establish that jab early, man. He got to. The second thing that Terrence Crawford need to do, he need to establish his lead foot dominance. He need to stick that lead foot out there so Pacquiao ain't trying to jump in there undeterred. Okay, the man a trip, you know, the man a trip over his own feet. Cause Pacquiao clumsy. You put that lead foot out there, he ain't gonna want to jump. He Pacquiao gonna try to circle around your lead foot to get his shots off. That's what he gonna try to do. But see, you can see him circling, and then Terrence Crawford will be able to make the appropriate adjustments, so Pacquiao not catching him with something all night long. The next thing that uh, Terrence Crawford gonna have to do, man, he is gonna have to work the body of Manny Pacquiao to slow him down. See, you also stop a volume puncher with body shots. That's how you slow him down. And if he don't successfully do that, Pacquiao going to have his way. He going to do what he want to do all night long. I'm telling you, Manny Pacquiao going to come in that ring, and he's going to have no respect for Terrence Crawford. He, he ain't going to have no respect for him at all. 
He's going to try to throw them punches, but Terrence Crawford got to be patient. See, Manny Pacquiao is impatient, and that's going to play right into Terrence Crawford's hands, okay? Terrence Crawford going to have to make Manny Pacquiao miss a little bit. Take the blueprint from Floyd Mayweather. Make him miss. But then as soon as Pacquiao start missing all these wild punches, Terrence Crawford going to have to put leather on him. Now, that's something that Floyd really didn't do. Okay, but Terrence is going to have to put that leather when Pacquiao do them wild punches. Make this dude miss. And when you make him miss those wild punches, man, you put leather on him. And that will start to confuse and frustrate Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao is easily frustrated. He's very easily frustrated, okay? And if Terrence Crawford can get in and keep him at the end of the jab so he ain't trying to rush in there, pretty much, man, he'll win the fight on points. Pacquiao still will get his shots off, but he'll win. He'll discourage Pacquiao. And Pacquiao, he going to take away a lot of arsenal from Pacquiao. What Pacquiao need to do? He need to take a page out of Yuriyoka's Gamboa page book. That's what he need to do. See, Yuriyoka's Gamboa is a stupid fighter. He dumb. I like him. I like how he fights. I like, well, I like his fighting style, but I don't like his ring intelligence. Let's put it like that. Because he don't have none. If, he'd have, if he wouldn't have tried to brawl with Terrence Crawford, Gamboa would have won the fight. But he tried to get into a slugfest with a guy that's naturally bigger than him. Okay, he tried to stand toe-to-toe with him. All he had to do was keep throwing that overhand right. Because you're a Yoko's young boy, man. He, it was so deceptive. Like, he'll duck his head like he about to throw a body shot. But then he'll come up with an overhand right catch. He caught Terrence Crawford almost every time with that. That's all he had to keep doing. He caught him with an overhand right and then hit him in the body and got out of there. He could have done that the whole night and won that fight. But since he's not a smart fighter, <laughs> it didn't happen. Now... Pacquiao, I'll say he's a bit more intelligent than Yuriokas Gamboa, but Pacquiao, to me, is still not a highly intelligent fighter. He's average. He's got average intelligence in the ring, but I think that's about all he's going to need if he try to implement this game plan. Pacquiao going to have to get in there early, man. He can't let Terrence Crawford get comfortable, because when Terrence Crawford get comfortable, it's over. And that's just the way that is. All right, that's my breakdown of how I think the fight will play out. I still i am going to lean a little bit towards Manny Pacquiao. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.